This is when you lock your keys in your truck when you start it. This is A1 right here. You like to tell your viewers what you did? This is, this is why I was in the window down whenever I start the truck. I always forget it automatically locks and the keys are inside. Okay. Let's see how long this takes. I'm going backwards. It's not raining. Have fun, buddy. All right, well, that was a very interesting intro to the video, but welcome to the channel. If it's your first time stopping in, don't forget to go down below, hit that subscribe button. Back over here at Preston's, like you guys just saw, it's nice and raining today. Um, I went to start the truck up and uh, get some clips to post on my Instagram story, like I do every single weekend. And I forgot to hit the unlock button after you start, because when I start my truck up, it automatically locks the doors, which is weird, because on his truck, it doesn't do that. So I don't know if it's like the... Um, security alarm that was installed in the truck or what, which I'm going to change here in the future. Um, have some plans for that, but that was interesting. I'm nice and soaked now and ready to start today's video. So today we're going to be working on a Preston's truck and uh, we're going to be replacing some bushings in the control arms because a couple of them are bad and when he went to get alignment, that was one of the things I needed to get fixed. So I'll go ahead and let him go over the parts. Oh, uh, there's something on the camera. All right, guys, so I got a five inch zone off road lift with their control arms, and I actually called them up and had them sent out the exact bushings and the little sleeves. Their part numbers are goofy, so like these are the smaller ones, which is number 18. The bigger ones are 24. And here's they sent me two things of bushings, I only think I needed one bag of them, but. You can see if I can find the differences. Those are two the same. What is that? Big one? There. So that's your smaller one. Here's your bigger one. You can kind of tell the difference. You can see the inner rubber is a little thicker than these. So we're going to show you how to take the old ones out and push the new ones in. Shouldn't be too hard, but let's find out. So our plan of attack is we're going to go ahead and take them off one by one instead of taking one side off or all of them off and have to fight with the axle to get them back on. So we're going to attack one at a time, take it off, replace the bushings, put it back on, do the same thing for all four, and uh, that should do it. And then uh, take it off for test drive, make sure it doesn't squeak anymore, and then I go from there. So here's what the control arms look like on the truck. They just go in the stock location and replace the factory um, control arms. There's some DOM tubing. So beefier than stock. He's also got five inch springs with a zone off-road shocks and then the back it came with um, replacement end links there as you can see and lift block and the zone off-road shocks in the back as well. Just like that, he has the first control arm out of the truck. We're gonna go ahead and get those old bushings out and get the new ones pressed in. All right, so Preston's got a new toy he wants to show you to add to his collection of tools. No, he's not a mechanic. I get this question all the time. Just because he has all these snap-on tools does not mean he's a mechanic, but as you guys can see, we enjoy working on our trucks, so that's why he has so many good quality tools because you get what you pay for. Yeah. But I'll let him go over his new toy here. So I went and purchased a ball joint and U-joint press. For this job, I didn't buy a snap on one. They were like five hundred and something dollars. So I went on Amazon, got an OEM one. Here's the whole set. It's pretty much everything you need. This is what a guy recommended to do these. So we're gonna try it out. We've never done them before, so they can't be that hard. But, but if you guys don't have the money to purchase one of those, you can go to AutoZone and rent one. I think it's like fifty to hundred bucks um, for a deposit. You get the money back as soon as you bring it back, um, as long as everything's there. But you just rent it. So. Um, that's your option you have if you guys think, don't want to spend the money on buying one. This was like 50 bucks on Amazon, so. So if you're going to use it more than once, obviously it's worth buying it because you don't have to go to AutoZone and spend money um, that you may or may not have and then just to get it back later on um, to rent it. But um, he went ahead and bought it, obviously, because we'll, we'll use the hell out of it. Okay, so 
but this one was definitely worn out. So as you guys can see, we got this out really easily, didn't have to really use a press at all. But one thing is that the bottom sleeves are going to be bigger than the top ones. That's why there's two different sleeve sizes, which he'll go over here with you guys. Here's the two different sleeves. You can tell. If you can't see the difference, then I don't know how to explain it to you. But yeah, this one's obviously one's thicker here. than that one. And you can tell they're a little bit longer than the others. Because I think the bottom bar is bigger and thicker wise. And here's the difference between the old one and the new one. They're not too worn out. They probably could have last a while, but they were rocking a little bit back and forth, so that could have been more of the bushing itself. But we'll go ahead and replace them anyway since we got it. So if you're going to be replacing these more often or another year or so, do yourself a favor and put some grease on it, even though I have a grease certain zerk on there. It's going to help you in the long run of taking them off like you just see me. I just be able to pull them off in five minutes instead of having to burn them off or cut them off. But if you're going to sell it to somebody and don't give a <laughs> go ahead and just screw them. And just like that, we have one of the control arms completely done. He's gonna go ahead and grease it real quick. We'll get it back onto the truck and move on to the next one. Tell the different sizes. So this is the top control arm, which means it's going to be the smaller sleeve size, and also is the bushing size the same. Bush, uh, bushing size. The holes are the same size. The holes is different. <laughs> Coming. There you go. So we've got the passenger side completely done. I'll bolt it up. Now we're going to move on to the driver's side.
All right, guys, so I'm gonna end the video right here because it's getting too long. Next week, we'll finish up the other side as well as we're gonna do a Q&A at the end of the video. So Wednesday or Thursday this week, I'm gonna put a post up on Instagram and on YouTube in the community section for any questions you guys might have and I'll try to give you answers for them. So drop them down below um, on those posts, either on here on YouTube or on Instagram. Also give me a follow on Instagram, it's never sat 24 valve, I'll put it up on the screen here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to go down below and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.